Uh, let's bring back our powerhouse panel for this Sunday to discuss further the Vice President of the Commonwealth Foundation and a fellow at the Independent Women's Forum, Jennifer Stefano, Constitutional and Civil Rights Attorney, Amir Benno, and Project 21 National Advisory Board member, uh, Christopher Arps. Uh, folks, th those tornadoes slamming into an Amazon warehouse in Illinois, killing six people. Um, but Jeff Bezos, uh, the CEO of Amazon, facing some harsh criticism today after a delayed response to the deadly tragedy. Um, while the community and the company were reeling from this, and, and we knew early in the morning that this, that this uh, facility had been leveled, we showed the pictures here, Bezos was uh, with Michael Strahan and his Blue Origin space tourists. There is a, uh, a picture of the, uh, uh, of the facility. Uh, and again, six people were, were tragically killed there. I believe that they are, they're, they're continuing to look for others. Um, he did come out acknowledging the warehouse collapse, calling it, uh, calling it tragic. But Chris, uh, this is right in your backyard. It, it, this is kind of a detached look for Bezos and one of America's biggest companies, isn't it? It does. It shows a real detachment from reality. Look, uh, going into space and all of that is great. Michael Strahan, you know, former NFL player, uh, was going up with his daughter. That's great. But this is something that should have been postponed so that the focus and the energy can be on these families that lost loved ones at this Amazon Fulfillment Center. We know how large those structures are. They are huge. They're mammoth. And if you see the pictures from that, it's completely leveled. Wow, look at that. Wow. We well, can see that on our screen. You can see that exactly where that tornado just went right through the building like a, like a knife through butter. Amir, your thoughts on this? Mm, the devastation is terrible. Um, so my heart just goes out to, to the people who were uh, injured in, or impacted from this, those who were killed and their families. I just hope that those communities get the resources and aid that they need. Uh, with respect to Jeff Bezos, um, yeah, I think it probably would have made more sense for him to have responded quicker. I don't know that it, uh, something like this, this uh, space flight that had probably been planned for a very long time uh, needed to be canceled in light of this. I know that he's no longer the CEO of, of Amazon. But certainly, optically, he should have spoken out sooner about this and expressed his concern for these people. Yeah, he's still the face of the company in many in many respects. And uh, Jennifer, I get that the launch was a big deal, and I'm not suggesting that they should have canceled it. But it's an it's an optics thing, you know. You're celebrating the return of these folks, and I'm glad that they're all safe. It was, I watched it; I thought it was very fascinating. Um, but he knew that his that there was a tragedy here. Your thoughts? I love America being on the forefront of the next frontier and going out into space. But does anyone know who the Amazon CEO is right now? Do they know what the response was? No. Why? Because no one sees the new Amazon CEO as the face of that company. They see Jeff Bezos as that. And he missed a moment and his board missed a moment to make sure that he was out in front and expressing the appropriate empathy for their workers. They already have a problem and a perception problem amongst uh, the people who work for Amazon versus the people who run Amazon. This created an even bigger disconnect for them. I think it's very problematic moving forward. All right, switching gears now. We only got about uh, about a couple minutes left. Um, we're going to see how this uh, the response to the weekend weather plays out uh, over the course of the week. I hope Amazon makes up for it in in some way because I just thought it was a terrible look for such a an important company and a, and a big company. All right, uh, we do this every Sunday. What are you watching for this week? And let's do a quick whip around, Amir. Uh, well, I'm, obviously, I'm going to watch to see what happens uh, with. Uh, the the tornado situation um, right. that that's key but but other than that i'm just looking to see what happens now that the defense is going to start putting on its case in the Ghislaine maxwell trial uh that kimberly potter trial is also developing so i'm going to keep my eye on both of those and jennifer I'm looking at the Consumer Confidence Index. I think that's our most important number going into Christmas as you're seeing continued supply chain disruptions, inflation increase, and wages go flat or fall below inflation. I think you have to watch that number that is going to play very large in the 2022 midterms and governor's races. And Chris, uh, what are you looking, looking to watch this week? 
You know, last week we had a couple of days of 70 degree weather. And as your meteorologist said, that's what helps fuel of these tornadoes. Um, the forecast calls for warmer weather again this week. So I'm going to be uh, looking at the weather and seeing if I'm going to be in my basement again, uh, trying to protect myself and my family from these uh, tornadoes. Totally understandable. All right, I want to thank you, uh, the panel. Great, great conversation today. Appreciate you being thank here. You.